as she approaches the old broken city. The only light is from braziers lit by who knows what. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Starships Steel. It's been a little while since I posted a video, but uh, today we're going to make braziers. Today is going to be a simple craft. So you can build these with tea lights or you can build them with uh, a cool little circuit. And there's lots of builds about those online already. Uh, if you can go to Wylock has one on building circuits and using them for lights and that kind of thing. DM Scotty has lots of tea lights. Uh, I think Downtime Dad just did one with tea lights in the last two weeks. That's not this. These are simple. These are basic, basic braziers made out of things you probably already have. They are super cheap. They are super quick, but I still think they'll add a lot of cool ambiance to your table, even if they don't have any actual light to themselves. With that being said, without any further preamble, because you guys don't watch it anyways, over to the craft table and let's get these bad boys built. And let's get on with the build. So first thing we need is a hot glue gun, of course, some cutters, a razor knife, steel ruler, paint brushes, various paints and Mod Podge, materials, we're going to need some bamboo skewers, some plastic forks and bits, beads, small gems, some sand, and thin cardstock from like a cereal box, and a bottle cap. So let's get on with the build. First we'll take our bottle cap, figure out what size it is, it's half inch tall, one and eight inch in diameter. So let's square off our cardstock cut some slats that are a quarter inch wide. Like this. The full size of this is going to be two and one eight inches long, which is two times the height plus the diameter. Let's cut that off. And we'll cut another one, another quarter inch wide essentially. The length of this one's gonna be equal to the circumference of that bottle cap. So once we got that, we're gonna put some glue around part of it. We're just going to stick that long piece on. It sticks. Like that. Just on there a little bit. We're going to just continue along. Put some glue on the cardboard and just glue it all the way around that bottle cap. Just like that. Perfect. Well, a little bit more. Not quite perfect. Now she's looking good. I'm going to take that small piece. I'm going to put glue on half of it. I'm going to fix that over the join. The other piece of cardstock, I'm going to glue it on, add glue across the bottom, glue it on there. The reason I'm doing it in parts is because otherwise the glue may cool off before I get to the point where I want to actually stick it down, and then it'll be no good. I'm going to do the same thing across the other way, same size piece. This one's cut in half, so it fits on either side of the first banding. Just glue it up there. You're going to have some pieces that stick up the top over the bottle cap. Just go in with a razor knife and clean those off. All right, so this is a miniature. I'm just going to kind of figure out how tall we want it. So get your little plastic forks or whatever you're using for legs and just kind of score them a little bit. Your razor knife, snap them off just like that. Easy. Take some hot glue. We're just going to put a little dab in the corner here and stick the new leg, kind of get it standing up on a bit of an angle, but kind of straight and even with the other ones, we get all four of them on there, now it's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill up the inside. I used hot glue, you can use whatever you want. If you use hot glue, make sure you don't knock the legs in the bottom off because the heat from the glue is going to affect the heat or the glue sticking those legs onto the bottom. So bamboo skewers. I'm going to make this for the firewood. I'm going to cut them off to be about an inch long. Just tear them off like that. If they split in half, it's not a big deal. I'm going to come back in with a knife anyways and split them into logs like this. Be careful when you do that, don't want to hurt yourself. I got a little stack here. So you've got your stack. Just kind of cut them in half with those cutters. Make sure they don't go everywhere. Hold them on both sides. Otherwise, they will go everywhere and have to go find them. There we go. A bunch of firewood for our fire pit. 
We're gonna take some foam. We're just gonna cut this into a piece that fits inside the brazier. It's gonna be conical shaped, like a pile of coals. You shape that however you want. Just go in with your knife and go to town. So it's that kind of cone shape we talked about. Once you got that, glue that into the brazier. Cut it in the middle. I'm gonna take some white glue and just fill up the inside. Forgot to tell you we need white glue. We need white glue for this project. Sorry. Take your wood, stick that on top like that. Uh, take some sand, cover it so that it sticks to the white glue so you have like kind of coals. Moving on to the painting of it. So uh, black based it. Now we're just gonna go in with silver. Just like that. A couple of layers of silver on there gives it a nice metallic look. Like that. Now we're gonna start with yellow. We got some coals up in the corner there. It is a guide to what we're trying to get here. So the central part of the coals, the deepest part is yellow, uh, where it's hottest. And then it's gonna move out into darker oranges and reds. Finally, it's gonna stop at that black color, gray. Take some red in there and mix it in with yellow, get that orange color I'm talking about. Just kind of add that on top of the yellow, wet blend it in, whatever you need to do. You get some on the wood, it does not matter. I'm gonna go back in with black in the end. Just kind of keep going like that, blend them together like I said, until so you get that nice kind of coal looking fire pit. Touch the coals a little bit, maybe the sand that we glued in. I'm good. We're gonna go back with some black like I said. Just kind of coat the top of those pieces of wood. Look like those coals you see in that picture. You can go back with a bit of a white brush or a dry brush of white if you wanted to or, or gray. I didn't, but it would probably add a fair bit to it. I'm going to take a black wash like you normally do and just bring all the textures out of that uh, metal brazier. I went back in with some silver to highlight some areas. This wasn't really very visible, but I gave it a shot anyways. And this is what we finally look like when we're done. So find me on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Give me a like if you liked the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe for more content.